The Houston Astros in the mid-90s and 2000s were led by the killer bees of Bagwell, Biggio, Bell, and Berkman. The Berkeley Stags have their own variation of Bash and Boone. I think they balance each other really well. Um, you know, it, it, it's really hard to focus on stopping one when, when you got the other one. Senior wide receiver Caden Bash, the shiftier of the tandem, led the Stags in receiving last season. He's him. That's all I got to say. He's him. Nobody can stay in front of him. Nobody's guarding him at all. Caden as a player, he can, he's a playmaker. As soon as he touches the ball, it's going to be 10 plus yards every time. If not, it's probably going to be six. Right there, beside Caden, senior Kevin Boone totaled 12 touchdowns and was three yards shy of 800 yards receiving. Kevin's a dog, I ain't going to lie. He's strong, he's fast, he's fast, he's very fast, but he's he really good receiver. Um, nobody can stay in front of him, nobody can tackle him. Not one person can tackle him. Caden isn't bash full when he says they formed the best receiving tandem in the low country. The way we practice, um, the way we take football like really seriously, we talk about it all the time, you know, what we need to do in the game, outside the game at practice. Bash and Boone feed off each other. When one eats, they all eat as leaders, not only of the receiving core, but on the entire Stags roster. We setting the example, we showing others what to do, what not to do. We showing them every time. We're leaders, we stepping up always, anytime. Close to each other on the field, the stack columns and in the alphabet, the two's bond transcends beyond the gridiron. We always together. On the weekends, we always together. He always at my house, I'm always at his house. Uh, we always try to get work in whenever we can. The Oakland A's once had the Bash brothers of Canseco and McGuire. Berkeley has the receiving brothers of Boone and Bash.